We're here from Berg Vivant, and i um, Mike Bizzelli, and this is Lonnie the Theater Lady, and we are talking about The Mountaintop by Katori Hall over at the City Theater on the South Side. As normally when we see a play, we look at each other and our expression generally matches. She usually loves it and I usually hate it. Not always. Not always, not always. But, but we last... are we are in agreement <laughs> of this one though. Last night we looked at each other mm -hmm. and I think we both just went Wow. Wow. And we're getting our coats and getting ready to leave. I said something like that was so powerful. And I just started to cry. Yeah, she did. She did. I was there. I saw it. And it wasn't that I was crying. Testify, girl. Because it was necessarily sad. Right. It was like, I mean, we Powerful, knew, though. It was extremely powerful. Evocative. And, it, and so complex and so multi-layered and so thought-provoking and just so beautifully done. Now we can yes. tell them what it's about. Okay. It is about... Martin Luther King and his last night on earth. It's about him in the hotel before he gives the speech in which he is killed. And it is about him and a lovely young maid from the hotel that he meets. And their relationship? Their interaction. I would call it their interaction. Their interaction. Yeah, their interaction together. is more accurate, I think. More accurate, yes. But uh, exciting, the, though. Evocative. Emotionally impactful. This was not a night out at the theater. This was a life-changing experience. And it really was. It was so, so beautifully done. I thought that um, the actor that portrayed Martin Luther King, Albert Jones. Albert Jones, I'll drink to that. Was spectacular. Yes. I actually forgot that I was at a theater seeing a play. I felt like I was in that hotel room. That set was wow. amazing. It looked there, just like a hotel room. The set does some room. interesting things too. It Well, at the end, I think the set yeah. actually becomes another character. Okay. At the very end, but we won't say how or why yeah, that I happens. It, because spoilers, were, spoilers, sweetie, no, there spoilers. Were many, many, many surprises in this play. It was very surprising. But um, really, Albert Jones was spectacular. Yeah, uh, very spectacular. He was magnificent. He was Martin Luther King. And it was really interesting to me to see the humanity in a hero. And I'm thinking that maybe yes, he's, that would be it, helpful for us to see maybe a little bit of hero in us the, as this, humanity. Yes. There was and, a big... This falls into the category of where we separate the, the theme, I believe, is where we separate the hero from the human being. It was the theme of the show, I Did believe. Did you think? I didn't think it was a separation at all. I thought it was showing that it's all one. That, 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 that every hero is has still their a foibles. human being. Right, okay. No, that's... that's then the maid. But I think, yes, he is equally matched because the worst thing we've ever seen is when you have a really great actor paired with somebody that's not so great. However, oh, man. I, I think she's spectacular. Bianca Jones, also. Bianca Laverne Jones. Bianca, Bianca Laverne, Laverne Jones. Jones. You've never heard me use this word describing any performance, but both of them were magnificent magnificent oh i'll drink to that sweetie no, i will drink truly. to that there were moments of silliness in this oh it decide. was hilarious yeah, oh there was so yeah. much laughter and so much fun it wasn't by any means I mean, so like a diatribe of the equality and marching forward no there was it had a great lot of humor it but, did and it had some gravitas it, it, it was a very strong theater theatrical work Katori Hall is she is the playwright? Yes. And she's my new hero. Well, and the thing that amazed me about her, this is one of many, many, many plays she's written. The most famous and the most well known. Okay, I'm it gonna have to see those other ones. It was performed in London, um, I think it was around two thousand eight, and it won the Olivier Award for the best new play oh, after of the Sir year Lawrence. in London. Yeah. Oh wow. Did we talk about the director Peter Flynn? And he directed the Santa Land Diaries, which I love, two thousand eight, which I love by David Sedaris. So he's not a stranger to the City Theater either. It was an ex it was a theatrical experience. It really, it was. really was. It was. And I forgot. And I two things about that. I want 
every this is why I'm kind of I kind of pick on other shows that we see because I want everything to be like that. I want great acting and great writing and I want that every time. I want everybody to see the show first of all. White, black, red, green, yellow, whatever you are. There are no uh, green people. Uh, well, <laughs> you oh, haven't yeah. had enough of these. And I think we said it five or six times as we walked down the steps. There was multiple so wows. Like, wow. I had multiple wowisms. Yeah, now here's there's an area we don't want to stray too far into spoiler land. And the maid is not exactly who you think she is. That's not a spoiler. That is not a spoiler. Sometimes I say something and I think it's kind of important. And then the next day when we talk about it, we're taped. You take what I said. And I said, don't take this one. It's mine. Killing your word. Okay. <laughs> then, what would you? How would you describe the mountaintop, Mrs. Lonnie Jantz, the theater lady? Ms. Uh, there was a little G wetness G in my ear, in my yeah. eyes, not my ears, Listen, in my eyes. He the was. The hell's wrong with me? There were times no. that I caught myself. Being so spellbound. Mesmerized. 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 Mesmerized.